Nah, 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 nah. Oh, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because I'm I'm ready. I am so ready for this. Why? Why? Why is this happening? Why is this happening? I'm going to break down. So I've just come back from college, okay? So in the last week, there's been some speculation about a particular Joey Barton. A particular Joey Barton that is very, very important to Burnley. For me, for what I have seen in the last year, we would not be anywhere near promoted without Joey Barton this year. That's a 100%. If you don't support Burnley, if you don't watch them, let me tell you what he does, okay? He wins every single goddamn header. Or if he doesn't, he puts 110% into everything. Every single tackle. If you're a Burnley fan, you can support me on this one, okay? Let's say your home games. Every single home game since he started against Reading, he's always had been, like, smashed, crashed into, broken leg tackle into every single game. He gets knocked the fuck down. And then he just keeps on getting back up again. Just keeps on going back up. He's like an Iron Man playing football and putting every single ounce of effort into everything. That's what we need. That is what we need in the Premier League. Burnley are on a cliff and we are jumping straight out of it. I'm just tipping backwards. What happened the last time that we was in the Premier League? What happened? We got relegated. Wanna know why? One of the reasons, one of the main reasons is that we didn't have a main CM. Now unless if we sign Paul fucking Pogba after this, that, that's when we can see this going well. A player like Joey Bolton that he puts Everything into everything. He's not, he's not really a creative player. He is a player that will tackle. He would disrupt play. Oh my! Okay, so let me calm down a bit. Okay, so Barton <sighs> to Rangers. Rangers. If he went to Newcastle, if he went to another Premier League club, then I'd be like, okay, fair enough. And it went to Newcastle, big big club. Fair enough. Then if he goes to another Premier League club, okay, then well, I'd be pissed off. At least he's furthering his career, I guess. But he's is he really with Rangers? For comparison, okay. Ross County, Kilmarnock, Manchester United, <laughs> the Olympic fucking stadium. Is there a bit of a contrast there? And wait a second, Rangers fans, I know they'd be Rangers fans. I know they, I know they will be Rangers fans watching this. The person that you are getting is someone that can potentially keep us up in the Premier League. He's not the all and end all. I know that Burnley fans are watching saying, oh, come now, we can just get another player. What other player that we will not have to spend fucking three million for? We can get Joey Bottom. We've already got him. All we've got to do is just give him a new contract. Give him two years, three years, four years. Give him a goddamn bull blow job if he wants one. Give him an omelette. Just give him an omelette. This is not the all and end all, but it can make life so much easier if we can just keep Barton. That means that we don't have to spend more money and waste more money to get another player to replace him because don't you dare, don't you dare tell me that D Marnie and David Jones are Premier League quality. They're not Premier League quality. They're okay. They're, they're, they're okay. Potentially be a backup player for a team like. West Brom or Crystal Palace. Presumably, we're gonna get another saying, Yeah, I'm seeing Kieran Westwood out here. He plays, he's a Villa player. D d have you just seen what Villa's just done this season? If you're you gonna fuck off to Rangers, just go. I love Barton, man. People will say, Oh, well, you hated him before. Now you, you know, now you love him. When you have a player that gives everything 110% into every single game, he, he's close as well because he actually wins the tackle. It doesn't just try, but it's still shit. He tries and he dominates. How can you hate a player like that? And that's exactly what we did not have in the Premier League. We have no actual wingers. We have George fucking Boyd. He can run. What do you do? Mo Farah can run. I'm pretty sure he's not a brilliant footballer either. I swear we considered like 15 corners last time. We best sort that out. Ah, oh, just Rangers. Rangers are a big club. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that. Oh yeah, Burnley is bigger than Rangers. Champions League, bollocks. Everything, everything are better than Premier League. This is the Scottish League. <laughs> okay. If you're not a Burnley fan and you've been near the town and you've seen it, we are not a Premier League club. Newcastle. Newcastle is playing in the Championship and Burnley's in the Premier League. That's the fucking comparison right here. That's how much of an achievement that we are doing. It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world, but it can make our life so goddamn easy. I would fucking worship Barton, man. I mean, it, just for what he did. As well as saying that, you know, he would go through brick walls for our team. These are quotes from him. He was our player of the year. He was a leader. That's what we need. They best have poor Bobby lined up. I swear. Come on. Anyway, I think that's all I need to say about it. There wasn't going to be a video today. There wasn't going to be a video today. There will be a video tomorrow. I sorted it all out. But there's a video now. Joey Barton. Why? If you're a Rangers fan and you're watching this right now, I just want to see us stay up in the Premier League. And with him and our team, we can do so much better than what we did last time. But it makes our lives a lot harder. If you're a Rangers fan and you're watching this, have fun with him because he is. He'll give you everything into every single game. Anyway, lads. Smash that button if you guys enjoyed. I'm about to just go have a goddamn coffee. It with my Burnley mug. Let's go, lads. Thank you guys for watching. My name's Vincent. I'll see you next time. What?